But Amin over there is playing what I think is hands down the coolest thing uh, we have maybe ever worked on, and we've worked on a lot of cool things. And that's the uh, Squire Stratocaster by Fender, uh, Rock Band 3 guitar controller. And that is, no effing joke, a real guitar. It's a real guitar with technology built into the neck uh, that will know what you're playing, it'll know where you're fretting, we'll show it to you in a second, so you'll, it's not a fake demo, like a means gonna play guitar, hopefully well, we were out late last night. Um, and then when we're done, we'll show you that it's a real functioning guitar. Now, before we go too far in this, he's gonna actually start on easy, to again, show you that anyone can get into this. It's not a big barrier to entry, he's not gonna be playing a tap solo to start. This is easy on the hardest button above by the white stripes, but as he moves his hand around, you can see in real time on the screen, it knows where his hand position is on the neck of the guitar. That is fucking crazy. And if you don't understand it's crazy, it is. It's really, really ins insane. Um, so that means that he can focus on watching the screen enough to constantly look up and down at his hand. Now again, one of the coolest things about this is that we have an amazing suite of tutorials and lessons in the game, right? So don't don't think you're going to be thrown in the deep end on this and be totally confused. We have a bunch of stuff that paces you through each string of the guitar, playing scales, playing chords, and gets you ready to play in the game. We don't just abandon you. We're harmonics. So we want you to have fun and play guitar, which is exciting. We so there's in six strings on the neck that are coming down at you, one for each string on the guitar. The number is the fret, the number of frets that he'll be playing, how high the neck he is. They're also color-coded for ease. And the notes are spaced out on easy, so it's still fun and accessible. Do it me. He's doing so good. It sounded like an earthquake. <laughs> it didn't last long because I stopped it. I grabbed the rain down and stuck some little pins in. Let's ramp up. So me and can play on easy, and you can probably play on easy. You can probably say that on easy with a couple minutes. You get used to it really quickly. Um, it might seem intimidating. I promise you, it's not. It's actually really, really fun. Um, but Amin is, in a, is, a, is a really awesome guitar player. He's actually in our audio department, and he's going to ramp up to expert and show you support. And if you're a real guitarist, you'll see on the left side of the screen, we actually have the chord name spelled out for you too. So if you're trying to sort of pick it up on the fly, like some of us are, uh, you may just want to say, oh, it's a B5 chord, I know where that is. And that number is the root finger that you're playing with, where your index finger goes. So I mean, do you want to maybe show them the last cool thing about this? So I said it was a real guitar, and I'm not joking, so we're hoping to get these in the hands of music fans and gamers and people who maybe gave up playing guitar because Hal Leonard books and, and guitar lessons were too boring for them, uh, and get them to the fun of gameplay to really embrace having an instrument, having real musical experience. And probably the most important part about that is that when they're done learning the game, they're holding a real guitar. And all you need to do is plug it into an amp, and it's a real guitar. So, holy shit. Uh, I mean, there's other people who are sort of hacking around trying to come up with something as good as this. We're working with Fender and some of the leading engineers and the leading development studio in the world of music games. So like, our game will be better, our game will be best, don't waste your time in another booth. Just hang out here. We'll have a good time. Uh, we appreciate their efforts, but we've been doing this for two or three years trying to get this technology working, and we're really, really proud of it. So Amin's not going to play along with the song and show you that the song, in fact, is charted exactly right. Hopefully he won't. That's a palm muting right there. Oh, this HUD looks so good. Hopefully you, you recognize sort of how crazy that is. Again, with real tutorials that walk you up to this level, you know we sort of we do hold your hand and, and ease you in. Whether you're playing the Mad Cat's uh, Mustang Pro or the Squire Stratocaster, we sort of ease you into it, uh, and it's it's unbelievable by the time you're playing for. You know we've had people come into our office and play for an hour or two, and they walk out playing I Love Rock and Roll on medium or hard, playing power chords, and ready to basically go to a campfire and jam to some Joan Jett. 
And we're really, really excited about this. This is basically like what our company is all about, and we've been working on it for a super long time. So it's exciting. Hopefully, you guys are excited about it too. Um, we're really pumped. So just to summarize, Rock Band Three again, we have Pro Mode, great tutorials, real fucking guitar. Um, it's unbelievable. Also, if you're a fan of music games and you've heard people say like Harmonics put on the Beatles Rock Band, and I beat it in like a night, it's so easy on guitar. Lame. Harmonic sucks. Uh, Rock Band Three, we have expert guitar on a real guitar on Crazy Train. So fuck those people, because they, <laughs> they, are, they are screwed now. They should not have issued the challenge. Um, so we're hoping that people really get the challenge of it, but also the accessibility of it. It's really exciting. New modes, game for everybody, great new music. Uh, we know your time is really precious during E3, so we're not going to hold you past the end of your demo. We really urge you to go out there and get your hands on this tech. Take photos of the stuff in the front booth. Like This is pretty crazy stuff, and if you play it, you'll see it's actually really fun and easy for anyone to pick up. It's not just pro musicians, it's actually like anyone who has an interest in music getting connected even deeper than ever before. And speaking of getting connected to music before you go, uh, hey, you may have heard that we announced a different game on Monday at the Microsoft press conference. We're actually making a dance game for Connect for Xbox 360. It's called Dance Central. It has uh, resulted in many hilarious editors of uh, video game websites dancing on the internet this week, which is really exciting. Uh, and then we have been working with professional choreographers, and we have a great soundtrack, and it's right outside. It's probably the most fun we've had in a long time. We, I mean, we love rock band, but like, it's a new, it's a whole new thing, and our company's all about connecting to the music, and dance is a really great way to do that. So I think that John or Matt are going to be out there on the stage talking just for like five minutes about the different features in Dance Central. Not only do I recommend you listen to them, give their little spiel, because it's actually like really informative to sort of show more than just you dance, which is the quick summary of the game. Um, and then please, please get up there and get your hands and legs and feet on the game. Because it's actually super fun, and you know, you'll play for two or three minutes, and it'll change your mind about, uh, you know, that camera and all the motion technology. So, uh, thank you guys so much for coming. I know it's early. It's hopefully you have a great rest of E3, and we'll be here all day. So, rock on, and have a good rest of the week. Woo!